In my previous presentation, I used an older model um, R22 unit that was a 10 seer. Those units went out of production back in 2006, and the government began to mandate higher efficiencies in our air conditioning equipment so that they might reduce the cost to the consumer, reduce electric consumption, in turn, reduce environmental impact of generating electricity. This isn't something new. Uh, the original energy efficiency ratings were developed back in 1979. Uh, the Department of Energy was the uh, entity assigned to develop these ratings. And the original rating was something called the Energy Efficiency Ratio, the EER, Energy Efficiency Ratio. Now, the energy efficiency ratio was actually something that was pretty straightforward. It was VTU consumption divided by the wattage. And that would equal our energy efficiency ratio. For example, if I had a 36,000 BTU air conditioner, three ton air conditioner, and it used 3,600 watts per hour, 3,000 divided into 36,000 would equal a 10 AER unit. This wasn't a very accurate representation of the actual uh, capacity of the unit. They didn't take into account warm days, cool days, spring, and fall. So they came up with a more efficient way of rating the systems, and that was the SEER rating. And that's the seasonal energy efficiency ratio. With the seasonal energy efficiency ratio, they took into account the cool spring days, some of the warmer fall days. So now they would calculate this by the entire BTU divided by the entire wattage over the period of the entire year and that would give me a SEER rating, ratio. These higher efficiency ratings can be accomplished by adding more energy efficient features to our air conditioning system. Different manufacturers have different combinations of these uh, improvements on the equipment to achieve the lower wattage consumptions. It's all about reducing the wattage consumption. Probably the first, without a doubt the first, would be an oversized condenser. The oversized condenser can be oversized 
large enough to where you can actually use a fixed orifice metering device in conjunction with the oversized condenser and achieve the 13 sear minimum rating. The oversized condenser will allow the refrigerant to boil at a lower pressure. Lower pressure equals less work on your compressor. Less work equal, equals lower amp draw. Lower amp draw equals less wattage consumption. The second most popular addition would be the thermostatic expansion valve. The thermostatic expansion valve allows the refrigerant superheat in the evaporator to remain constant even during load changes. Let's say the house is hot, we're doing a hot pull down on the house. Rather than take hours to remove this extra heat by having a fixed orifice, the TXV can compensate for this by opening up the orifice hole, feeding more refrigerant to the evaporator, increasing the capacity of the evaporator, and in turn, lowering the temperature within the conditioned area at a faster rate. Thirdly, is an electronically controlled motor. Our, evap um, our evaporator fan motor, our blower motor, often is used as an electronically controlled module. It will um, modulate its speed so that our fan doesn't move any faster than it has to. Now that in turn will um, give us more control for one thing over the amount of air that's delivered into the conditioned area and it makes it more efficient because you, if you don't need, uh, say, two amps of airflow within your house to achieve our 450 uh, CFM per ton, this can adjust for it. Another thing about the ECM motor is it can give us greater control over humidity within the structure. Another item that could be used to increase the energy efficiency are multi-speed compressors. No need to move more refrigerant than necessary. The multi-speed compressors can adjust their speed and adjust their amp draw in accordance with the need of the structures. Electronically controlled motors for our condenser fans. Um, another possibility is to actually use a two-stage compressor the biggie the the great biggie is a geothermal Geothermal air conditioning systems utilize the Earth's heat as a medium to reject and absorb heat through. Um, geothermal heat pumps are rather popular. They're rather expensive. But this would give you your greatest sear ratings. Sear ratings, again, range from, in, uh, currently, will range from 13 sear up to 20 sear for the geothermals. Each component you add will add to the initial cost of the system. So really to determine what your customer's needs are,
talk to them, find out how much money they're able to spend, and match a system to their house. 